might not think you're a supermodel, but you look like one to me. I'd rather have your picture on my phone than on the cover of a magazine. It's hard to think that a girl like you could have any insecurities. It's funny how all the things you would change are all things that are cute to me. And I know you don't believe me. And you think that I'm a fool, but I don't care. The Buddha was asked, what's the difference between liking someone or something and loving someone or something? His response was, when I'm walking in the morning and I see a flower on my path that I like, I pick up the flower and I put it in my breast pocket. I enjoy the jovial rose as much as I can for however long it lasts while being in my pocket. But when I see a flower that I love, I don't pluck it from the ground and hold it for a limited time. I water the flower, give it the sunlight it needs, provide it the best soil to grow in. I care, support, and cherish the rose so that she can, she and others know how captivating she is. I know without a doubt that I love you deep down in my soul and heart because you are a credible, opulent light that I want to honor, care for, and love. Vowing to love you in sickness and in health would not be much of a vow because we've already loved each other through those hardships. We also have stuck by each other while being poor and having wealth and through adversity and amazing adventures. So I wanted my vows to be rooted in growing with you as we take our next steps in life together. I love you. I vow to touch your soul with tenderness, kindness, and limitless altruism. I also vow to accept that you don't know how to pronounce certain words correctly, like caramel and interesting. I vow to smile every day deep in my heart knowing that I am marrying the most beautiful and amazing woman who has the ability to find me simply by touching my hands with hers. I vow to love you for the rest of our lives. Sing it now. Let's sing it. my parents have and I knew someday I wanted that kind of love too. The kind where they would have days when they argued and wanted to strangle each other, but at the end of the day they are each other's best friends. Before I met you I resigned to my fate as a crazy dog lady because no matter how many guys I met none had ever measured up to the man I wanted. None had also never passed the Milo test. <laughs> However, as cliche as it sounds, meeting you changed everything for me. Words cannot express how much I am thankful for you and how much I love you, my best friend and partner in crime. While I can't promise you that I will never ask for just one more foster, nor can I promise you that I won't ever let my stubbornness get the best of me at times, I can promise you this. While there'll be bad days and some hard times, I'll keep your secrets if you'll keep mine. I'll give you all of me and I know you'll give me all of you. I will love you forever and if there's no one beside you, when your soul embarks, then I'll follow you into the dark. Though there are many little things you do that drive me crazy, you're perfectly perfect for me. It's gonna make me go crazy. I'm not crazy. You're perfectly perfect to me. You don't have to try. Change a single thing. It's just the way you are. It's sweeter than Seeing you 
what I see The little things you do to make me go crazy I'm not crazy You're perfectly 